Hey guys, James with TFB TV, SHOT Show 2020. I'm here on the SHOT Show floor at the PSA booth. I've got Dale with me, and Dale has something very exciting that I was not expecting. I don't think any of us were expecting from PSA. You all know I'm a 300 blackout nerd. Had to stop and hear about the Jackal. Dale, tell us about it. So this is our new, this is the evolution of our truck gun concept, right? We've uh, been working on this guy for a couple years now, trying to understand the, the uh, what we really wanted in this gun. Uh, <clears throat> the main thing that we needed to have was the ability to fold without the added length of a folder, right? right. That required us to move the recoil system into the upper. Right. So we accomplished that with a long stroke gas piston. It's a single recoil spring, and <clears throat> that takes up a lot of room. Mm. And we had to <clears throat> create a new upper. I wanted to do that as a one piece. Mm. <clears throat> it's super rigid, super secure. It makes it for a really solid gun. So you, yeah, this is a monolithic, a monolithic one piece upper. Yep, absolutely. It does have an ex uh, extended handguard. That's to try to isolate you from the heat. So you're right sure. here by the gas block. You get right. a lot of heat, right? And the barrel. And yeah, absolutely. So this is a seven and a half inch 300 blackout. Uh, the initial release will be 300 black. We'll mm -hmm. do a five five six later on. However, I'm going to push that out to ten and a half inches. Okay. Seven and a half inch. 556 is incredibly obnoxious. Yeah, so yeah, oh, absolutely. We'll yeah. move that out 10 and a half. That's brilliant. And that'll be a uh, carving length gas system. And we'll move the handguard out to match that. So it'll still have the same look, it'll just be a few inches longer. If I buy the Jackal right now in 300 blackout, I mean, I see some screws there in the handguard. Yep. Can I change the barrel out myself? So you, you cannot. The uh, The barrel is permanently threaded into the, the receiver. Mm -hmm. So these screws are torqued and, and thread locked in and you'll, you'll destroy the screws trying to get them out. Okay, So I've done that before, yeah, ironically. Yeah, Funny yeah. you mentioned that. But to that point, one of the things that we made sure that we did is we used a standard mill spec lower. Mm. So the instead of just changing the barrel, you change your whole upper, mm -hmm. right? So you buy the, the original gun, and then next year, uh, six months from now, when we come out with the 5.56, you can just buy that upper, mm -hmm. right? Or if you if you have a lower already this, that you want to use for for this, just get the uh, the upper. Yeah, and I see that you've got like an adapter back here, like yeah. similar like with the Sig with the MCX, like you can have an adapter. So. And, and that's right. So to keep the the mill spec lower, there's there's a weird looking transition here. We wanted to cover that up to keep the sleek look. So the stock adapter accomplishes that, and it gives you the pick rail to attach your brace or right. your stock. Right. And what are we talking about in terms of pricing, availability? What are we looking at? This will be in the same range as our premium ARs. Mm -hmm. So $799, $899 for the, the gun as you see it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do, eventually we'll do the uppers separately and they'll be probably half that. Okay, that's really cool. And who makes that brace? I mean, that looks like a trifolder. Like so it, it is. This is the same brace that we put on our AKVs and AKPs. Mm -hmm. And it's an SB Tactical made for us. And it's just a triangle style folding brace. Holds down nice and compact, locks closed. And Dale, you were the designer for this. Absolutely. You came yes. up with this concept. Talk yeah. to me and talk to the viewers about what you guys did. We had a little bit of chit chat before the video started running yeah. about like durability testing, reliability testing, yeah, what you so, guys did. Uh, I, I wanted this gun to be able to work. You know, you pick it up off the bottom of your four wheeler or you pick it up out of the saddlebag of your bike. It's gonna have dirt and trash in it. I wanted an operating system that's proven reliable, proven to work in those types of situations. And I don't think anybody can argue that the long stroke gas system of an AK-47 right. is known for that capability. Established. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we put that system in this gun. So Charging handle, tell me about it. It is a non-reciprocating charging handle. So, so yeah, there you go. So back, you pull it back and it's not gonna be flopping around. That's right, it's detented to hold it locked in the front. In production, We'll replicate this geometry on this side, so uh -huh. you have uh, an ambi-capable charging. You're going to be able to switch it either yep, side. Yep, yep. And that wasn't in the original design, you know. So I'm I'm designing this gun the way I want it, and this is where I want my charging handle. So you right. got this hand, you charge it back, and you have access to your bolt catch. Right? Oh, cool. So it's that's all brilliant, one actually. Yeah. And your other controls are with this hand, so everything fits where it's supposed to be. I don't, as a as a right-handed shooter, I don't have the need. For charging, I don't want to reach around the gun to charge right. the gun. You know, you do no, it in the AK does? because right. you have to. Right, and this it kind of looks cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to with this gun. You, I put it where I wanted it, but the overwhelming uh, feedback from the community is I want it ambient. Sure. I'd much rather make you a, a, a left handed and a right handed gun, you know, and you buy the one that fits you the best. What about that gas plug there? Is this an adjustable it, gas it is. system? So we'll talk about that. That is, it's a three position adjustable gas block. 
So it's it'll be tuned for standard fire, mm -hmm. you know, subsonic, right. supersonic. You uh, switch it to the suppressed setting, mm -hmm. and then you you cut your gas back to your suppressor. Right. You won't be getting gas sure. face, right? Yeah. And then there's an off setting. So if those special situations right, need to be right. super quiet, yeah, the boat will cycle. Won't cycle. That's yep. brilliant. Yep. Well, this is a great concept, Dale. I walked over here. I wanted to look at your pistols, the yep, dagger, yep. and I, then I. This, I kind of caught this out of the corner of my eye. You guys haven't seen the display here, but it's like you've got the pistols here, and then kind of behind it, you, you had this, and there was a crowd around you. <laughs> I had to fight them off in order to get yep. you for a video. So I had to talk to you about it as a big 300 blackout guy. I think you did a great job with this, Dale. Thanks for Thank talking to us. Yep. Guys, stick around for more coverage from SHOT Show 2020.